Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your August 2019 general readings. We are looking at the first half of August from the 1st through the 15th. Thanks for joining us here today. Welcome to newcomers, first timers, and welcome back to followers and subscribers. And thanks for taking the time to tune in uh, to this channel and to uh, these videos. And thanks for everybody who sends in uh, your support, feedback, and comments. It is uh, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And always a big shout out to all of my clients out there uh, for keeping me so busy with personal readings. Uh, both regular and new client and thanks to so many of you for returning uh, time and time again. If any of you out there are interested in scheduling a personal reading with me live or recorded, you can get more info and contact details by clicking on the description link below or you can go to my uh, YouTube channel's homepage and click on the little about button there. Email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com I would be most happy to work with you. I can usually respond to initial inquiries with more info within the same day or the first 24 hours and setting up the actual reading is pretty timely too. I uh, do readings full time six days a week, uh, sometimes more. I try not to but sometimes I do. But I'm pretty diligent at working with everyone's schedules and mine to get you readings as quickly as possible. So send me an email if you're interested and we'll set something up for you. I offer a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. All right, let's jump into this. This reading is for the water sign of Cancer. Our lovely Cancerians are crabs for the first half of August 2019. Cancer for 2019. Okay, Cancer, we begin with the King of Swords followed by the Seven of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords, followed by Judgment. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall uh, energy focus and or challenge is the Five of Wands. So Cancer, overall focus for the first half of August is the Five of Wands. So this card can represent uh, conflicts, it can represent rumors or gossip, mon uh, gossips or, or rumor mongering as we call it, people who try to create rumors to stir up stuff. Uh, it can represent, you know, competition or competitive energy as well. In Something just popped up on my screen. Sorry about that. I hope you can't hear the little dinghy. Um, in, in job, work, and career, or with any other groups of people, this can represent, uh, you know, co outright conflict with other people, but it can often represent gossip uh, as well, or people talking about you, or people talking behind your back. Um, there is a sense of competitive energy that fuels such things which can represent uh, you know jealousy of some kind as well and I feel like for uh, a lot of you I think by the middle of the month although timing as I always say is fluid in uh, uh, a general reading so it can be you know start as early as the beginning of July and kind of work its way through August definitely with the ace of swords here and judgment the, whatever the truth is or whatever is being hidden from you uh, is going to be revealed uh, and I feel like there is a specific individual who's going to be revealing it to you so we have the king of swords with the seven of swords and right next to that we have the ace of swords and judgment so I feel like the king of swords and the ace of swords is connected for many of you I feel like this King of Swords individual, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, Sun, Moon, or Rising, is going to be the one who's going to be, for some of you, it's going to be bringing this information or revealing something from you that either he or she, because this is a general reading, so this could be a she, although it is showing up as a male, uh, either that he, know, he or she knows about or that they are keeping from you. I feel like for the larger group, it's, 
this king of swords is the individual who is revealing the information to you about maybe you know that pe maybe people are talking about you or there's some rumors or gossip going uh, around uh, or what whatever this this five of wands represents whatever the source of the the conflict is because it can represent a combination of both internal and external uh, conflict as well the king of swords swords is air energy and in the tarot this is energy of the head uh, belief systems ideologies what we think what we say because that affects the way that we communicate kings and queens represent individuals who have reached the top of their suit so they have reached a point where they have are in mastery and self-control and self-discipline over the character traits inherent to their suit so the king of swords is somebody who is uh, probably quite intelligent if not well educated uh, somebody who's a, a good clear and concise communicator and is pretty focused on that um, the king of swords would be pretty focused on whatever in the upright position which he's showing up as uh, on truth illumination clarity bringing things to light making decisions based on the truth and the facts of a matter rather than being emotionally or, or impulsively spontaneously driven especially by emotions this is somebody who would in fact sacrifice his own feelings or put his own feelings aside in order to get to see or deliver the truth uh, of a situation because he's all about you know what is now what accompanies him is the seven of swords which is a card of it can be a card of deception uh, it sometimes can be a card of theft I mean perhaps somebody has stolen from you or has been stealing from you or something of that sort um, it's a card that uh, represent sneakiness or deception or somebody presenting themselves to be some way that they're actually not maybe they're a completely different person than who they're presenting or somebody doing something behind your back or something being concealed from you and because conflict is the source of this and often conflict with other people it could be for a lot of you that you know people that there's some kind of rumors or gossip that's that's going around now next we have the ace of swords and judgment I really do feel like this is a group of people whether it's at work it might be in social media or your friend network or around a, a, a group of people that I feel like you're around a lot or that you know you see on a regular basis so we have the ace of swords and judgment so the ace of swords aces represent uh, the beginning they're the number one so the ace of swords this is truth being revealed this is clarity insight illumination receiving new information seeing something perhaps from a different perspective or in a new light that is the absolute truth the the ace of swords comes in and it cuts through extraneous fantasy and illusion or emotions and it exposes and illuminates something for being exactly what it is uh, which you either haven't seen before or haven't seen in the right way before the ace of swords is one of those cards that often represent success that comes through uh, sudden illumination or clarity or a new idea and it's sitting right next to this king of swords so I do feel like for many of you particularly because he is in the upright position this king of swords is playing a positive and helpful uh, role in bringing whatever this truth or news or illumination or clarity is um, whether or not they're a male or whether or not they're Aquarius Gemini uh, Libra they are focused on what the truth of the situation is and bringing it out and there will be a chance to to do something about it uh, judgment usually shows up when uh, there's an opportunity to do something it is often called the second chance card uh, the reconciliation card uh, it's an opportunity to do something which you're going to be accountable for and it's going to set the stage for something for quite some time because that's what it means to be judged to be called to answer for your actions and your decisions not not what we think or feel or intend but what we actually choose to do there's an air of finality about judgment which represents that uh, this is a pretty significant opportunity or or situation here and what you do is going to set the stage for something for quite a long time you're not going to be able to reverse it uh, this opportunity may not come around again uh, not for a very long time if ever so it's it's a pretty sig whatever's going on is pretty significant there's going to be a chance whatever you do with this news or information that's being revealed is going to actually your actions will decide 
how this is going to be and play out for you and perhaps for everybody else involved in this too for quite some time to come it's going to bring irreversible changes so consider very carefully about about what you want to do Now, for some of you, this King of Swords may not be in such a positive position. For some of you, you may discover something about this person where he's doing something. I mean, it could be something sneaky, something deceptive. It could be something illegal or criminal. For some of you, I think for a smaller number of you, you're going to be finding out that this King of Swords individual, whoever they are, is doing something. Whether or not it's the King of Swords individual doing something or he's bringing you the information or has something to do with uh, this coming to light for you about something which is going on, which is sneaky, deceptive, whatever this card represents, because in a general reading, it's going to, you know, the details and specifics will vary, although the energy always remains the same. It's, it's all about what you choose to do with this information. It's going to change things one way or the other. So be careful in thinking about the long-term consequences of what your actions and decisions are um, and make sure that what you do, you do with the highest level of honor and integrity and purpose as possible. Let's pull a clarifying card for this Five of Wands for this conflict, who or what this is about. The Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is the friendship, good friends, kindred spirits, uh, often sometimes nicknamed the, the party card, being out, being social, having a good time. It represents, it can often represent a, a, a close circle of friends or uh, people who are connected in the community, you know, people that you see on a regular basis, people you definitely have um, a prior connection to. Um, maybe a, a social network of people or friends that you communicate with regularly or see it could be at work it could be in your own personal friendship circle or in the community maybe there's a community you know a, re a religious community church or uh, something else that you belong to where there's people you see on a regular basis so uh, whatever this conflict or the gossips or rumors are it's it's in this group of people or, or around this group of people uh, or within this group of people which is what i felt from the beginning Let's get a little bit of further guidance, pull one more advice card for judgment on what to do, if anything, during this time period, the first half of August. Oh, one just flew right out. The Seven of Pentacles. So advice on what to do. It looks like for the time being, uh, Spirit is advising you to, if you can help it, not take direct or definitive action just yet because the six of pentacles is a card or the seven of pentacles is a card that represents taking inventory or taking stock uh, uh, reflection uh, you know assessment it's a card about looking at what you have built up for yourself in this situation uh, and asking yourself what you want to do moving forward because of that era finality whatever you do is going to be is not going to be reversible so the Six of Pentacles would represent, again, a, a, a form of consequential thinking. This is what I have invested in this group of people, in this relationship, in this situation, uh, in this community. Now, if I do A, if I take the path to the left, this is what's going to happen. Am I prepared for that? If I do B, this is what's going to happen. Am I prepared for that? How is it going to affect what I have invested? Is what I have invested worth holding on to? Uh, this is something to, you know, it's about reflection and, and, and uh, you know, checking your motives also on uh, what you choose to do. If you, you know, if you think, well, I should do this, ask yourself, what is your motives? What would be the outcome? And, and if you're willing to, uh, to accept that outcome, 
uh, in terms of doing that. So judgment is all about thinking carefully about what you're going to choose to do uh, because it's it's going to set the stage for something for quite some time to come. So be, be very measured and thoughtful and think about all the potential consequences of all uh, the choices you have uh, in what to do with this information that's being brought to light. Okay, well, Cancer, that wraps up your reading for the first half of August 2019. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, I hope that it, it at least validated some of what you are going through. If this reading resonated for you or if any of the readings resonate for you and you'd like to take a deeper look at it by setting up a personal reading with me, uh, please click on the description link below for more info and contact details. You can also email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I do uh, love and romance readings, relationship compatibility readings, which uh, use specific spreads uh, to take a look at the different dynamics and aspects of each person in a specific relationship. Uh, career work and finance readings, investment readings, uh, six and 12 month life overviews, which take a look at what's coming in all the main areas of your life over the next six or 12 months, depending on how far ahead you want to look. Uh, gift readings for friends, family, and loved ones as well. Uh, personal readings, I always think, make great gifts for people because they're personal and unique to the person. So, uh, especially if you don't know what to get people. Uh, so, there's a few different options from, uh, and, and also a variety of other types of readings I do. So, send me a message if you're interested and we'll set something up for you. I'll see you all again, Cancer, in a couple of weeks for the August 2019 mid-month general readings. And until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.